The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, I wanted to show you a spinning wheel. Nah, just kidding. What I wanted to talk about was another kind of a classic circuit, although it's not really so much of a circuit, but a component to be used in a circuit in a classic way. That's just too much to say, though. Anyway, what we've got here is a simple DC electric motor turning this wheel. That's our load. Now, here is the circuit that's driving it. I mean, there's, there's nothing spectacular about it. Putting 7 volts into the breadboard. This is our 2N2222 transistor. It is, you know, set up, of course, emitter, base, emitter, base, collector. And then the, uh, the emitter is then going and feeding this line that goes to the motor. And we can control the speed of the motor through this variable resistor. Simple, right? Right. But, here's the thing. Let's take a look at the oscilloscope. Okay. There's the scope. And, if I can get my eyes to work, we're at uh, 2 volts per division. And our circuit is turned off right now. But I'm going to turn the circuit on and watch the scope. Do you see that horrible noise there? That is known as inductive kickback. And that is a byproduct of basic DC motors. And that can be very, very damaging to a delicate component such as a transistor. So we can alleviate some of that, most of that inductive kickback by using a standard component one of my favorites and yours a diode. You can use a standard silicon junction diode I'm going to use a Schottky diode in this case just because it will provide a little faster clipping time. So I tin the leads to the Schottky diode and let's go up here where I have the scope attached to these points on the motor. And let's hook it up. So let me tin this lead here just because I don't remember if I did it or not. I know that bottom one is tin. And this is our negative. So we'll get that on there, make sure it's nice and set. Good. Now, of course, you're not going to have it sticking out like this when you were doing this for reels. But I'm doing it like this for our demonstration purposes. So that you can see what is going on here. There we go. And now, we will hook our leads back up, same spot they were before. And we'll power the motor back up. And what do we see now? We'll we turn this light back off. Now, our inductive kickback has decreased significantly. I mean, we were at 2 volts per division, so we were seeing, what, 2, 4, 6, uh, 6 volts, and that was um, almost bipolar, so 
yeah, we were looking at a six volt kick on that. And now, maybe a volt. So that is simply a motor anti-feedback diode. You place it in parallel with your motor, with the anode on the negative, the cathode on the positive, and Bob's your uncle. You save the lives of your delicate silicone friends. Can't be any easier than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you for all your support, everyone. 2020, I'm hoping, is going to be a great year for us. Everyone who's supported through Patreon and through PayPal donations is fantastic. Um, everybody who's bought something from the Amazon store, that's what keeps this channel going. I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, you are a part of the team. Hey, feel free to email me, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I try and get back to just about everybody.